what is going on everybody we're back on it one piece 481 also the day known as aces release <laughs> um we got a lot of let me make sure this is muted so we don't have a bunch of things going off a lot of moving parts here as we all we had the arc has been wild but aces i don't even know how to say it because we're not we're not free ace has been broken out of his handcuffs let's do that because we're not it's not like we've it's not like we're back in east blue hanging out or you know chilling in alabaster or anything it's not like we've escaped the situation um ace has been broken free of his handcuffs you know he's free to use his fire do all the craziness let me get a light on here that you know someone of his caliber would be able to do i am still under the impression that they don't get out of here we and we we've talked about it. again when you by the time you patreon you guys are seeing this i'm on vacation um so i had to stack these videos back up back to back all week's videos had to be stacked up but last video i talked about um who i think like dies here i think it's safe to assume even if we agree that like one piece doesn't really take risk with like killing anybody um I would almost like Scout's Honor bet my life that Whitebeard does not survive this. This is just, he was already coming into this sick. He was already coming into it old. Um, he sustained a lot of damage. The man is coughing up blood every time they cut to him. He's dropping to a knee. He can't keep this up. Um, we kind of see the glimmer in his eye of like, you know, this is the new generation. What can I do for them? Seeing like the two brothers actually together. I think he would, even if they don't kill him, like, you know, uh, Kazaru or somebody like sneaks up on him and like stabs him like, you know, Raikiri through the back of the chest. <laughs> um, even if we say, you know, one of the Marines isn't skilled enough to get him like that, like catch him with his guard down. I think he it would require him to and i think he would lay down his life for them to escape regardless i think we can just check the box that like he is not surviving this so that's number one the question is does anybody else now we know luffy's off limits because main character clearly um so like do we lose an Ivankov or jimbe crocodile kind of is like on that he could be on that list too ace himself as well um, maybe Ace, they, maybe Ace sees Whitebeard's about to go down, so he jumps in and sacrifices himself. Um, and I'm just curious, like, who does it here? Because it wouldn't be us, if Whitebeard goes down or Ace goes down, it wouldn't, well, I mean, Whitebeard just might die out because he's bleeding out of his chest. <laughs> but I'm curious, it's like, we're not being executed anymore, right? Somebody would have to beat us in a fight and kill us or sneak up on us and kill us. So, like, who has that in them to do that? No, it's the same piece of shit characters we've been mentioning the whole time. Kazaru's kind of getting a little bit of like a... <laughs> he's getting a little bit of an attitude up there, but he's still kind of on that fine line of like, I can't tell if he's truly an asshole. Uh, Sukazaki, or whatever his name is. The Molten... Him. And Doflamingo. Those two. <laughs> I could see being the ones that would take the opportunity to try to kill Ace or try to kill Whitebeard. It's just those two. Um, now it could also be a wild card of maybe Goku does it. And again, speaking of Goku, I don't know what that Buddha ability is or what that even allowed. like he has he transcended or is he just a golden statue? It's like, okay, what the hell does that do? So there's a lot of questions with that. Um, but it's definitely going to be a big morale boost. They had to use a lot to get in a lot to just get him in. Now they're still, it's not like, and I mentioned this, it's not like they were racing to a finish line. They had to race to a finish line, and now they've got to go back to the starting line. And they gave up a lot just to get in. Now they got to get all the way back out. The question is, can they get back out? The only one out here that's like, got some pep in his step is Ace. Because <laughs> he's just been sitting there the whole time, and he's going to be motivated by everybody. But it is going to boost morale. They're going to be like, wow, we actually did it. We did succeed. But here's the thing, though. I just don't think that... Uh, it depends how dark of a turn One Piece wants to take. I just don't think they allow this to happen like they allow i don't think they allow ace to escape just because of how big it's been broadcasted 
You already broadcasted to the world that like who his father is. You put fear out there into the world of like, oh my God, Gold Roger, you know, his descendant, his son, could he come back? Like, what does that mean? Like, oh no, that pirate air, like everybody seem, everyone has a differing opinion on the time that Roger was kind of like ruling the seas, but puts a lot of fear into people, scares them a lot of shock. And it's not like whispers are getting out that the Marines broadcasted this themselves. And we're telling people of it. Ace's execution, yada, yada. Imagine, and they cut the feed, right? Imagine a month from now, word gets out across the world that like Ace and Whitebeard are just sailing across the seas. <laughs> that would look horrible for them. So that's why I don't think Ace makes it out of here without being recaptured or without being killed. The question is, does, does One Piece the story actually pull that trigger let's find out drags over here bop 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 i would like to see him go crazy a little bit though just really like just out here fucking people up like throws hands with a couple of admirals a couple of vice admirals a couple of warlords pop 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 let's see what we get let's see what we get everyone's cheering like like they have a massive instant transmission button and like Ace just has the juice to like teleport them out of there. You guys still have to get out. Like this is not free, you know? Boa. I hate what they've done to her character too. Ha, she said escape in one piece. She said the thing. Oh, man. Yeah, I really hate what they've done to her character. She didn't need to be the massive raging B-I-T-C-H that she was before. But what she's become now. Oh. Mr. Three. Alright. Here we go. I did want to see him go crazy. At least if he if he is going to be recaptured or get actually executed, let's see Ace run wild. We've never seen him run wild with his abilities, especially with the Logia user. I feel like with every Logia user, we've seen them kind of like go crazy. Not even like not even just here, like Crocodile and his Alabasta, Enru with his lightning. We've seen Okaji go crazy across multiple arcs. Um, I'd like to see him go crazy a little bit. If this is if he does get recaptured or killed, I'd like to see him kind of go wild one time. Isn't that heat like the worst thing for Mr. Three, by the way? It's pretty dope. Luffy can't keep this up, by the way. I don't know how he's keep how he made it. I don't know. I don't know. Well, here we go. Y'all still gonna? They're playing this try. They're playing. They're over here playing the trumpets and the fucking saxophone and shit. Y'all still gotta get out, man. Well, yeah, the bullets aren't gonna affect him, and the bullets aren't gonna affect him. So, what's the play? <laughs> what actually is the play here? Hmm. Okay, now the swords will work. Okay, I was about to say. That's the Logi effects are so dope, by the way. The Logi effects are real dope when they can't be when they're tangible. Well what's, what's gonna be really interesting is like I wonder if Logi is still like end up being Oh shit. The sound effects for Gear 2. I mean Gear 2's been my favorite so far. We only have three, but it's so crazy to me that, like, they all have, like, a baseline of, like, the Sage of Six Paths abilities. When I see them, like, shave and, like, moonwalk and shit, it's pretty, it's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. What? Alright. We are getting to see Ace, like, fully use his arsenal here. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little montage they got going here. Somebody worth a damn is gonna have to step up, though. Um, but I am curious if, like, Logi has kind of lose their juice a little bit as we get deeper in the story. Or are Logi is going to always remain kind of, like, the top of the top. 
you'll randomly have your Marcos. You, these random, like, Zoan mythical beast combos that are just busted as hell. Okay, that's green. Um, I'm sure we'll always get those one-off Devil's Fruit, like, uh... Blackbeard. I don't know if that counts as a Logia. I don't even know what Blackbeard is. Um, but I wonder if Logias are always going to kind of remain, like, the cream of the crop. But I say that to say, I feel like as we start getting into characters that have an understanding of hockey and how to use it, do Logias kind of lose their juice a little bit? Because I feel like what makes Logia so busted is them just being intangible. But it's like, if, we, if you start facing... Because naturally, we're going to run into stronger and stronger evil pirates, good pirates, marines, etc. That, like, everybody's going to have a really strong level of hockey. And if if Conqueror's hockey can be acquired and not destined, are Logias really even the shit like that? If everybody's running around here with busted hockey level? If I can touch you, like, it really takes out a lot of the juice, in my opinion. Because now I just got to deal with one ability. I just got to deal with, like, your ability in general. I don't know how to deal with, holy shit, I can't touch you. Like, remember how much of an issue Okuji and Kazaru were the first time we ran into them? They were such an issue because we can't touch them. Um, But then once we're able to touch them, they're not as scary, you know? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Here we go. All right, let's see how this goes. We have the fire, we have the ice. Yeah, Luffy's gotta get the fuck out the way. He'd more be in the way because Luffy himself can't touch Okuji. It'd be different if Luffy, if Luffy, if Luffy actually knew how to touch him, then okay, you can sit here and fight with us, but you give us, you're nothing, you're just in the way. Whoa. And see, we've never seen Logia users go at it like this, have we? I don't think we have off the top of my head. Jesus. These are just Pokemon battles. <laughs> it's absolutely, it's just straight up Pokemon battles. We got Flamethrower flame thrower and Ice Beam over here. Which one gives out first? I don't know. You also gotta watch your back too at the same time because Sukazaki's a real proper piece of shit. And he would not waste an opportunity to like jump behind somebody and decapitate them this isn't i think this is a, a loss for okuji though i think the ice just gets melted over i don't think he i don't think this is a logia battle he wins no yeah i don't know if this is something he wins and we got to talk about this man right here i don't know you know he did throw hands with mihawk what that means, I don't know, but he, I made the statement, like, as far as everybody we've got introduced to up to this point in the story of episode 481, is he the second strongest swordsman we've seen on screen? No bullshit. He's stronger than Zoro, and Zoro's my favorite character. Um, so now what? And they, again, we ruin a proper episode with Buggy. The Four Emperors. Okay, that's what we refer to them as. I always forget what that is. I think it's because every time somebody tells me what they refer to as, they don't... Hey, he did it. They never say Four Emperors. They always use, I guess, the Japanese word for it, so I'm never quite sure what that actually means. His froze fully out. Uh, but I don't know. Goku's got issues. Here he is. This is the proper piece of shit. Sakazuki. Okay, I did have that correct. Yeah, he's the one that, like, Okay, yeah, that well, you need to watch out for that. But Goku's over here saying, "I can't, I oh my god, I can't believe this has happened, <laughs> bro." You were sitting there, you needed like qualified, certified, trained, 
they had to graduate and have a master's degree in execution waiting for these executioners to get up here you could have handled that <laughs> multiple times and you just didn't do it now again story allows that to happen but oh shit he's trying to do something here story didn't let goku decapitate ace but he's over here like i can't believe it i can believe it you were just you stood there the whole time mm hmm Whitebeard, you better keep your head on us. Are we halfway? Oh my god, we're more than halfway. What? That opening sequence was that good. The only thing that kind of felt out of place was the, the buggy. Damn, we're 16 minutes in. We got about five minutes left. Yo, what's it, what's his name? Spida? Spinda? Squ Squirt? Squarg? He owes, bro. He owes. What the hell? Yeah, you owe a lot. We'll see. We will see. Now is it going to be in vain though? Who gets out of here because of his sacrifice? Who gets out of here for his sacrifice? Is it worth anything? It looks like he's about to go down. Um, does he do anything with it? He's still throwing with Okuji? Oh no, 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 okay, okay. How did that get resolved? Okuji just like, oh well fuck it. I'm ice, can't really do shit. He's gonna burn the ship. The molten boy is gonna burn the ship. Because why wouldn't he? Oh my god. They, I mean, that's just a, a massive target. Bro, get the goddamn handcuffs off. I refuse to believe that you can't snap that damn cuff off. Everyone tells me you can't, but my god. You tell me these conquerors, hockey leveled, Logia infused, four emperor. Yonko, king of the seas, can't get a damn handcuff off is ridiculous. <laughs> Did you just explaining it like that always sounds absolutely ridiculous to me? Absolutely ridiculous. I understand it weakens them, and you know it's really strong material. My asshole. There's no shot. Did Wiper just palm that ship? I mean, that's the only big bitch I know that looks like that. That could have palmed that. That looked like him. No? Yeah, he did. What the hell? It's, and it's so wild to me that his jacket really does mimic that of the Marines. Man, palmed that ship, by the way. Palmed it. I mean, you're just a sitting duck. You're, that, that might be their only way to escape is on that ship. Like, they might not have any other transportation. If he goes in there and Sukazaki moltens it down or Okuji freezes it, do, like, how else do we get out? Half of them can't even swim with their devil's fruits. So how do we get out of here? We gotta have a way to get out. My man palmed that, by the way. I, at any point, I'm waiting for someone to blink on Whitebeard and, like, stab him in the back. At any point. I don't know who it's going to be. Again, the two culprits are Doflamingo and Sukazaki. <laughs> Those two are at the top of the board to do anything. Um, so I'm just waiting for it. It's a full retreat now. It's a full just run. 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 Everybody for themselves just leave, honestly. Just get the hell out. Operation GTFO. 
one last order. I think he's going to stay behind so everybody can get out. On Honestly, with his ability... With his ability to just cause chaos, if he quakes the entire area... Yeah. yeah. Man has a hole in his chest still. Like, oh, I'm not like, oh, he's got a little... Like, that shit is hollow. Like, I can go down to my elbow with that. Yeah, he is. Just say it. Yeah, he's really trying to pass that shit off. And it's wild, it's like, he's not the first time... Whoa. There's a lot of the older guys are all about, like, it's not my time anymore, you know? Yeah, he has the ability to create so much chaos that everybody should just, like, run for your lives. Get out, do what you can. They're playing the sad music. Yeah. If he, he could create so much chaos that, like, there's no plan, there's no, like, Unit A over here, Division B go over here, Division C this way. It's just, go. Whoever whoever makes it out, makes it out. But he can create enough chaos that, like, a good, a good chunk of them could escape. But the problem is, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, they're giving him the send-off music. Don't rip the flag off. Oh, him and Gold Roger. I don't know who that guy is. I don't know who that guy is. Goku? Garp? Who are those other two? Was that Buggy and Shanks? Don't you dare give Buggy screen time like that. How dare you? <laughs> yeah, they're playing the triumphant music. That's probably going to be it for Whitebeard. Don't you dare give Buggy that type of respect. Oh, man, that's crazy. So those other two... Were they the other emperors? When Roger and Whitebeard were, I guess, in their prime, and are they, I don't, I don't think they're silhouettes. Well, we know. Well, no, that's not true. Because we had four, right? Say we had Whitebeard, uh, Roger, and then the two sil the two people they just showed. Even if you get rid of Roger, you just replace it with Shanks. It still could be those two. They would just be old like him. But they don't look like the sil those two character designs don't look like the two silhouettes that we've seen, I don't think. Hmm. Who is that? Oh, that's a young white beard. No mustache. No hole in his chest. I'm still waiting for something tragic to happen. Well, they showed the three strongest right there. Yeah. Oh, shit. Mm -mm. We didn't get a we didn't get a shot of no, they showed them one by one. I didn't know if they showed a shot of Roger and Whitebeard together. So we see those two, right? That guy? If you assume them to all be relatively the same age, right? Give or take five years younger, five years older. Um, yeah, that looks like pretty young. That guy right there and that guy right there would all be, you know, relatively close to Whitebeard's age. So I'm curious if those are still the same four or not um seeing the two of them throw these two pretty dope pretty dope but yeah i just think i think that's just a pokemon battle that okaji loses every single time given the matchup um it's actually wild too because he loses to him and i think he loses to sukazaki as well so they gave us the the flashbacks deep flashback young white beard before we even had the beard they played the music. 
You know, they did all that. He gave his little bit of speech, his last command. I don't know how much more they got to spell it out to us. They like he's not coming out of this. Um, and I think I talked about this for the last like two to three episodes. I could see them all getting out, but Whitebeard's gonna have to stay behind and like really sacrifice himself. He has a destructive enough quirk. Quirk. <laughs> he has a destructive enough devil's fruit that you know it might cause some confusion for his crew and his people as well but if he let out like and we saw him like really flex it up i said if he like really like mustered up all the last little bit of conqueror's hockey he could like really control if that's how it's even used and infused it with his devil's fruit if that's how it's even used and i'm just saying really put like one last prime white beard attack into it into everything of his being and just like unleashed it like lashed it out the amount of destruction that he could cause in that area would be crazy and in within that destruction and chaos it's free it's free it's free for all it's like he said everyone just like go their separate ways and try to get out don't like try to leave with don't division one you don't have to leave a division two and you guys don't have to get them like just free for all run it you guys just get out into the new world and then you can try to you know regroup it back up after but one at a time just try to make it out if two of you make it out two of you make it out if 20 of you make it out 20 of 200 like just whoever can get out get out and he flexed on him and gave it and now i'm assuming you know he caused the destruction in the chaos and now i'm gonna assume he's gonna stand there and try to hold the line for as long as he can because you know they're gonna get pursued you know that okaji and kazaru and they're gonna be running after them right um so just because he causes the destruction he's got to make sure they just don't instantly get blinked on so we'll see i would like to see one good like white beard exchange like throwing hands just one i know he, he couldn't keep it up for a long amount of time or anything crazy but i would like to see him like give one good like hockey push with a quake maybe he slaps the shit out of sukazaki like one good time for us like really fucks him up and then we know he's gonna get overwhelmed and overrun and not be able to keep it up but it'd be cool to see um so we'll see we'll see how it goes pretty nice episode um honestly aside from the buggy part that they randomly slapped in there it was a pretty good episode from start to finish so that'll be the last one piece of episode of the week damn that's crazy so i'm gonna go a good well i guess i usually do that it'll be a week between by the time i react to the next episode so we're gonna have to sit on that for a while but i guess you guys will be sitting on it too if you're here watching it but you've already seen it so um good stuff we're at a good point here I just still don't see, and as great as that episode is and was, I still don't see how, I don't I don't think Ace makes it out of here, I'm just going to be dead ass with you, and I wonder if anybody else dies in the process, like, you know, Whitebeard, maybe Ace, maybe Jimbei, Jimbei would lay down his life, because I just, it would be too much of a stain on the Marines and their name, and they put on such a show for this. You know, it's not like word randomly got out like, oh man, they captured Ace and they're going to execute him. And only if you're kind of like in the know, would you know, you know, maybe you're one of the four emperors or you're like in the higher up Marines. Would you know that like, oh, they got a prisoner in there. They're going to execute him. He would like, and it's top secret. They broadcasted this on their snail spawners. <laughs> it was out there for all to see. And if word gets out that like, Ace escaped and got out and is out there roaming the seas again with Whitebeard. It's like the hit the Marines would take would be catastrophic. So I just think there's no way from a story standpoint, if you still want me and the world to respect the Marines, there's no way you allow Ace to get out of here. No, he doesn't have to die. He could just be recaptured. Um, but I just think there's no way you allow him to get out of here. And it's been for plot purposes. It's been going perfect. Like, I don't know what happened the last three episodes, but it went from, like, dire to, like, holy shit, they're, they're getting out. <laughs> so, I think it's been going way too good. I think you've kind of, like, lulled the viewer into a sense of, like, holy shit, they did it. Nice. Nice. I, I just don't. We'll see. It depends if One Piece flips that switch or not. So, we'll see. Appreciate it, everybody.
Like, share, favorite, subscribe, and as always, 